Chapter 13, Lesson 3, Mean Absolute Deviation. Our learning objective is you will use counters and a number line, then use a dot plot to calculate the mean absolute deviation of a data set. Our essential question is how do you calculate the mean absolute deviation of a data set? One way to describe a set of data is with the mean. However, two data sets may have the same meaning but look very different when graphed. When interpreting data sets, it is important to consider how far away the data values are from the mean. Okay, so let's look here at the investigate. So it says that we need counters and a large number line from 0 to 10. We're just going to use our papers and um, X's. So the number of magazine subscriptions sold by two teams of students for a drama club fundraiser is shown below. The mean number of subscriptions for each team is 4. Make a dot plot of each data set using counters for the dots. Draw a vertical line through the mean. Okay, so if we just make those markings, let's see. So if we do team A, we have three, three, four, five, five, and then team B, let's do orange. Team B would be zero, one, four, seven, eight. Okay, also, um, it says count to find the distance between each counter and the mean. Write the distance underneath each counter. So instead of writing them underneath, I'm just going to write them down here on part C. So if I go for team A, which is my purple, the mean we said is 4. Okay. They told us that up there. It says the mean number of subscriptions for each team is 4. So we already know that. So that's our vertical line that they have right there in the blue. So if I look at from team A, I have two of them that are one away. Three is one away from four. So we put one, one. Oops, I should do that in purple. One, one. And then four is on it, so that's a zero. And then I have one, one. Okay, so now I just need to add all those up. One plus zero, one plus one is two, plus zero is still two, plus one plus one, that would be four, over five, because one, two, three, four, five total. So four over five, so then you just take four divided by five, which is zero. Bring it down, decimal goes in eight times. Okay. So then that gives us the decimal of zero um, and eight tenths. Now we're going to do the same thing. Oh, go away. We're going to do the same thing with B. And you're going to fill it in down below. I'm not going to because I don't want to redo all my X's. Um, so team B, we have how far away is zero from four? Well, that's four away. So we have four plus, this one's three away, plus zero, because it's on the mean, and then one, two, three, plus three, plus four. Divided by the number there are, one, two, three, four, five. If we add these up, that's six and eight, so six plus eight is 14 over five. Again, if you divide 14 divided by 5, goes in 3. Nope, not 3. Oh, yeah. Nope, it goes in 2 times, which is 10. Bring down the 4. Decimal place, 0, 8. So we have 2.8. So you should fill that in like I did right here. You need to do that for team B. So the mean absolute deviation for team A is right here, 8 tenths. 
the mean absolute deviation for um, team B is two and eight tenths. Which data set, team A or team B, looks more spread out in your dot plots? Which data set had a greater average distance than the mean? Explain how these two facts are connected. So team B, the, the data was more spread out. It was all over the place, okay? Uh, so team B had more spread out dots. Well, the more spread out the data set is, the greater the mean distances from, of the data values from the mean of the data will be. So basically, the more spread out your dot plot is, the greater of a mean absolute deviation you're going to have. And then it says, reason quantitatively. The table shows an average distance from the mean for the heights of the players on two basketball teams. Tell which of the set of heights is more spread out and explain how you know. So if we look here, this one has a greater mean distances, so that means more numbers are farther away from the mean. So that means that one would be more spread out. So we know that the chargers are more spread out because the average distance from the mean is greater than um, the Wolverines. The mean of the distances of data values from the mean of the data set is called the mean absolute deviation. As you learned in investigation, mean absolute deviation is a way of describing how spread out a data set is. The, the dot plot shows the ages of gymnasts registered for the school team. The mean of the ages is 10. Find the mean absolute deviation of the data. Okay, so step one is to label each dot with its distance from the mean. That's what they wanted us to do below on the other one. So if it says that the mean of the ages is 10, that means we need to label, so this is our mean, we need to label how far each dot is away. So one, two, so all of these are two away. Nine is one away from 10. If they are at 10, that is zero away from 10. 12 is one, two, two away from 10. And 13 is one, two, three away from 10. Now we need to find the mean of those distances, okay? Not of the values, but of the distances away from 10. So we just need to add up. So we have two plus two plus two plus two plus one plus zero plus zero plus zero plus two plus two plus two plus three. When we add all of those up, we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 total dots, so 18 divided by 12 goes in one, six, twelve times five is sixty, so that gives me one point five. So the mean absolute deviation of the data is one and five tenths years. Stones show, use counters, a dot plot, or eye tools to find the mean absolute deviation of the data. So find the mean absolute deviation for both data sets. Explain which data set is more spread out. The number of laps Sean swam on five different days, right here, then it tells us our mean. So now we're figuring out what the mean absolute deviation is with this information. So if the mean is seven, so let's do a plot here. Let's, so we need to go from five to 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so then um, if we go through and put, there was one under five, 
two sixes, an eight, and a ten. And we said that the mean was seven. Well, we didn't say that. They told us that. Okay, so now we're going to say five is two away. Six is one away. Six, one away. There's none under seven. One for eight. And ten is three away from seven. Add those up. Three plus two is five. Plus three is eight. Two, there's five days total. So then we take eight divided by five, which is going to give us one and six tenths. We take eight divided by five, goes in once. Oops. That's how I got that. So the mean absolute deviation is one and six tenths left for Sean or Shauna. So now we need to find the number of laps Laura swam on five different days. So we're going to do the same thing with a different data set. So we're going to go from 1 to 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And the mean is, again, 7. So now we're going to plot this. So we have 1 under 3, or 1 under 1, 1 over 3, 1 over 7, 11, and 13. So now we're going to go through and figure out how far away each of those are. So we have, to get from 1 to 7, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To three, we is four away. Seven is zero away from the mean. To get to 11 is one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And then divide that by one, two, three, four, five, because there's five different days. If we add these up, 6 plus 4 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, so that is 20 over 5, 20 divided by 5 is 4, so the mean absolute deviation is 4 laps. The data set of Laura, but the data set of Laura's laps is more spread out because of the mean absolute deviation of her data set is greater So the data set of Laura's laps is more spread out because the mean absolute deviation of her data set is greater. So because 4 is greater than 1.6, we would know if I had not drawn these dot plots, I would still know that her data is more spread out. Okay, so I want you guys to go ahead and do the rest of these on your own. If you have any questions, you can ask your teacher. And just a reminder, what our objective was for today is that we will use counters and number lines and then of a data set. So we're really working on that mean absolute deviation, which just a reminder, mean absolute deviation is the distance of data values away from the mean.